Hey, I'm Benny, and welcome to the series where we'll go over a small aspect of SimTutor and walk you through it, giving my tips and tricks as we go. We're going to be covering reporting today, more specifically, how to get really granular up to the point of seeing where your users are getting your questions wrong. We'll cover a basic outline of the reporting features, and then look into running data extracts for more detailed data. Let's get started. Once you have your sims distributed and your learners have taken those sims, you'll be able to report on their progress by going into the report section at the top over here. So once you click into here, you'll see six different options. Um, I would say five of them are relevant uh, to us right now. So we have overview tracker, user tracker, activity tracker, sim tracker, and then data extract. Account tracker isn't very relevant. That's just more about your account uh, uh, settings and details and all that kind of stuff. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. I'm just going to give you a quick overview of each of the um, five different things you can do. So overview tracker will show you a list of your sims and then how many how many people you've shared to, your um, people that haven't completed it yet, how many have passed it, all that kind of stuff. And it kind of gives you an overview of your account. The user tracker allows you to see all the users within your account and see which how many sims they've done whether they've completed or passed, not attempted, all that kind of stuff. And if we go to Activity Tracker, this is where it gets quite granular, where you can put in someone here, say William Brooks, and we can see that he's attempted two sims, one of them twice, and we can see the time he's taken for each, if he's passed or failed, and a score as well for each of those attempts. The Sim Tracker is um, for going into a, a sim at the top here, selecting a sim, and then you can see all the user results for that selected sim. So you can see that Tiffany Barnes uh, did, uh, looked at the sim three times, passed it once, um, and you see she, her highest test score was 100%. So those are the four on-screen kind of reporting stuff you can do within SimTutor. If you want more detail to how these work, you can go to our support page and you'll see a reporting overview and there'll be links to each of the um, sections that'll give you more detail on what they each do. But for now, we're gonna go into the data extract and we're going to uh, look, at, look into a sim in granular detail. So we're gonna click on data extract and we'll see, we'll see we have a few options here. So we can select our sim. So I'm gonna um, pick this advanced one. We select a date range as well. I'm just gonna keep these de this default within the last month. And we can select all users or just one of the users. I'll select all of them so we can just see all our learners uh, progress on that advanced BTT induction um, sim. So you run the data extract and you'll see a Excel document will be downloaded. You can click onto this Excel document and once this opens, we have all our results in uh, a nice spreadsheet that we can use however way we want. So you can see the name of the person that did it. And then you can see here where it says step one, there's a blank space. This means that it must be it must, must have been a cover step or a video step within your sim. And then step two, we see that everyone got step two correct. And then everyone got step four correct too. But step five is when some people started getting it wrong. So you can see that William got this one wrong twice and then he got it correct. And then these two, they got it incorrect once and then they got it correct the next time. And you can go through and see how uh, all your users performed with all the steps within your sim. And this is really, really useful because you can understand where people are tripping up within your sim. Um, and you can either choose to um, teach that a bit more within the learn, the learn part of the sim, within the video, or you may need to think about rewording the question or something. Maybe it's too hard for them to understand. Um, and that's up to you how you do that but it's good information to know where your users are kind of tripping up within your sim so you can improve in the future. So that's, that's a really quick overview with reporting. Uh, again, you can always go into the support page and there'll be more detail um, with all that kind of stuff. But that's everything for now. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, you can email us at info at and we'll see you next time.